the fast pitch chat show listen up if you want to know tips from expert guests and pros a whole lot of info on everything softball the fast pitch chat show sponsored by softballjunk.com hello i'm gary leland and i'm here to answer today's question today's question that was sent in was how do i help my daughter on her overhand throwing strength She's a weak thrower, and we'd like to build up the strength of her throwing arm. Well, I'm going to tell you how my daughter did that. My daughter started playing softball when she's about 10 and a half, 11 years old, kind of late compared to the other kids, and she could hardly throw from first to home to first, much less throw accurately and quickly from home to second. So what I did was I went out and bought a 12-inch weighted softball. This was the only size I could find when I was wanting to, to strengthen her arm up. Now we threw every day, started throwing every day, and we threw the distance from basically home to the pitcher's mound, is how we started with working her arm out with the weighted softball. We threw 100 pitches a day, or not 100 pitches, 100 throws a day, back and forth from that distance, and 25 of those throws were with the weighted softball. We throw like 25, 50, regular ball, 25 with the weighted softball, and then finish it off with 25 with the regular softball. Then we moved that up after, after a week or two to 25 with a regular softball, 50 with a weighted softball, 25 with a regular softball. Did that for a week or two, moved it up to, can you guess it, 25 with a regular, 75 with a weighted, and then we got to the point where we were doing all 100 distance from home base to the pitcher's mound, overhanded throwing 100 times with the weighted softball. Then we got that down, we moved to first base. This was a long process. I didn't want to take any chances on hurting her arm at such a young age by overworking it. Maybe I was foolish to feel that way, but it worked good for me. Then we moved to first base, did the same thing. 100 throws with the regular ball. Then after a couple weeks of that, put in the weighted ball, 25 of those throws. A couple weeks of that, 50 throws with the weighted ball of the 100. After a few weeks of that, 75 throws with the 100. After a few weeks of that, 100 throws, all 100 throws were with the weighted ball from home to first base. So we've increased the distance. Now we move to second base. Did the exact same thing. 100 balls regular, 100 ball, 100 throws, 25 weighted, 100 throws, 50 weighted, 100 throws, 75 weighted, 100 throws with the weighted ball. We did it every day. Once we got to that point, that's all we really hardly worked out with was the weighted ball when we threw from then on. Because I mean, her arm is true. And she went from within a year from not being able to hardly throw to second base to just being a rocket fire catcher. I mean, you were gonna have to really be a great speedster to steal second base or third base on her. So it worked drastically for us. I mean, it worked really good for us. It, it, she had the kind of arm on her as a kid that, have you ever gone to an event and you saw the radar guns and they have contests for radar guns? Well, she didn't win that every time. She came in second or third. So it really made a drastic event, but like I said, the main thing was we built up slowly. We just didn't go to second base and start throwing 100 times. We did it gradually over a year's period of time because we threw every day. We throw it out in the street in front of the house every day. So that's when we did it. Every afternoon when I got home, went out on the street or the backyard you could do, and we just threw it. It takes five minutes to throw 100 throws. Believe me, it's not very long, and you get, it's kind of fun to do and spend some time with your kid. Now, if you need a weighted softball, you might want to check weightedballs.com. That's weightedballs.com. Have a full selection there, 11 inch and 12 inch. The balls come in since my daughter was 11. I went ahead and got the 12 inch. If your daughter's younger, you may want to get a 11 inch or a smaller ball. Uh, now you know you can also use, you can start with the 10 ounce, 11 ounce, and move up to the 12 ounce. You don't have to start with 12. That's just the only ball I could find when I was teaching my daughter. And I'm just telling you my experience with my child. Make up your own mind as to what you want to do, okay? But that's what I did for my daughter, and it worked perfectly. Thanks for watching. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-stale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV network. See all our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.